dear urologists i am sharing a short video which is very important for the juniors generally lot of people ask me where to keep the access sheath whether to keep at the lower end whether to keep at the middle whether the to keep at the upper end or whether to keep at the pelvis here we are sharing this is the flexible scope coming like this normally when you keep just at the entrance whenever there is difficulty in passing the ureter people try to do by just keeping here the problem is this sharp part will be abutting the mucosa and damage when you are doing surgery here you will be going with flexible scope like this inside but here if this sharp edge will be sharp edge will be damaging the intramural part and it slips also and if you try to negotiate there will be some small space between these and it may damage so if the ureter is tight put a stent but don't try to manipulate with access sheets at the entrance of the uvj in fact uh, directly go without access sheet without access sheet directly with go with flexible scope and finish if any case if you want uh, that also if the scope goes very easily over the guide wire and water is coming into bladder second part if you keep in the access sheet here with the flexible scope here at this level it is okay what happens water will go and water will come out a little 30 seconds late and it will come out provided there is space between this what where is the space between these this this flexible scope and the ureter the space should be there entire length if by chance if you keep the access sheet here and if the ureter is tight here water will not come whether you will keep the access sheet here or here or here if the pg narrowing is there rirs is not suitable same thing some people say in the mid ureter in the the vertical part of the ureter where it is horizontal to the spine this is easy because up and down movement will not be there in the access sheet so mid ureter to uh, mid ureter is safe i feel not very low not very high somewhere between the sacroiliac joint to transverse process by chance if you put access sheet very high when you remove this uh, this flexible scope and if somebody moves this assistant or you move inadvertently this area is very thin and curved if it damages it causes stricture and that stricture is difficult to uh, repair and if the if you keep here or here anyway water will come if it is oh, distensible so distensibility of the ureter above the access sheath is important some people say i will keep in the kidney then the movement of this uh, will be difficult in a normal access sheath nowadays uh, flexible access sheaths have come but this access sheath passing across the puj is risky risky so it should be very much wide to to thread like this this sharp edge to thread over the uh, over the obturator or over the flexible scope is risky obturator is better because flexible scope will have some small gap it can have shear effect on this mucosa so very rarely seniors recommend access sheath inside the pelvis in few conditions one is after the surgery if you want to suck out all the powder easily second thing flexible tip access sheets are available now they can go up to here and do it that also you have to take care that the size accommodates that well so for all practical purposes wherever you keep the access sheet above the ureter even if you keep in the upper ureter just below the puj if the water doesn't come out if the water doesn't come out the purpose is not served of the access sheet in that case i say that i cross this no even if you cross this this ureter will snugly fit and that causes stricture so ureter should be distensible the mucosal folds should be opening up if it is not stented so it does not make huge difference people are doing without access sheet also without access sheet they are doing easily not a problem over the guide wire there are advantages disadvantages but ultimately when the access sheet is not there again water has to come through this uh, narrowing this narrowing this narrowing into the bladder otherwise kidney pressure will raise 
ultimately water should come out through the excess sheath or through the uric carapace into the bladder either of these things must if it is not happening 100 200 300 ml will distend the kidney and damage the kidney thank you